Hello everybody, this is Mega Amster, and I am happy to present another unboxing to you guys. So this is number 28, uh, last time, unboxing number 27, if you want to check that out. That was about a month ago. I unboxed uh, the, both the Robin and Ness Amiibo, so if you want to check that out, you can. Um, it's probably been suggested, or it's check out my playlist on my channel. Shameless plugs. Um, but yeah, so I've got an interesting unboxing for you today, not an unusual one. But one that is going to be very fond to me because we're going back to like my childhood in terms of gaming. So I have a package right here. You probably don't know what it is. Uh, I think I know what it is. I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm 95% sure of what it should be. But here, I'm going to open this box up and you'll take a look for yourself. I tape. I, I put the duct tape on because like I don't want any of you finding out where I actually live because that's bad. Um, so I'm gonna actually do the box though, because I kind of screwed up and covered the flaps as well. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. Nice. Can you get a view of that? So there we go. You can kind of see it now. And there it is. Yup. This is a visual memory unit of uh, VMU for short. For the Sega Dreamcast, the ultimate gaming system. Yeah, it really wasn't. It didn't do well at all. <laughs> well, in terms of uh, sales, it did terribly. So yeah, okay. The Sega Dreamcast was the first video game console I ever played, and this is a lot of uh, a lot of meaning to me because I've been meaning to uh, buy another one of these because the one I have right now is really crappy and it's kind of it's it corrupts some of the save files when I play the game. So I figured I needed a new one. And there's actually a Sega was actually selling some of these on Amazon, so I figured why might as well. But yeah, so here we go. This is this is a cool one. It's green, which is interesting. But here, um, let me unbox this and then I'll compare it to the one I have right now. So here we go. We're going to take this Dreamcast box apart. The Ultimate Gaming System. It is one of my favorites. You can see that's that's the VMU itself right there. It's pretty much it's a memory card, like. For all of you who've played the GameCube, or uh, I don't think the Xbox had it, um, the GameCube. That's all I know. You know what I mean? Like those. These are these are the ones you. This is how you play games at your friend's house if it's on a CD. So GameCube games, you bring your memory card with you. Your game data is stored on the memory card, and you bring that with you to your friend's house. Put it in their GameCube, and then you can load up your save file. So that's exactly what this is. It's a. It's a. They call it a visual memory unit. They try to be different. Um, I don't know if maybe Memory Card was copyrighted by Nintendo, I don't think so, but... Contains Dreamcast Visual Memory Unit inst and Instruction Manual. Whoa. Here we go. More than a memory card. Complete with its own LCD screen and controller buttons. The VMU can play self-contained VMU games, display secret info during Dreamcast gameplay, download and modify characters from Dreamcast games, trade files with the VMU, save Dreamcast files, or game files. Uh, that's pretty much what a normal memory card does. So here's a diagram so you can see what it's all about. Um, the LCD screen is right there. You have It has its own D-pad and A and B buttons. And there's a sleep mode button and... Or there's a sleep button and a mode button. Um, it's kind of interesting, actually, the fact that it has its own D-pad and A and B buttons. But I'll talk more about that in a sec. And uh, Sega, and I believe that was the online service that Sega had at the time. Of course, before they discontinued the Dreamcast and they went third party. Um, bottom. Okay. Let's take this guy apart. I don't want to take it apart, but you know what I mean. I just take it out of the, uh, out of the box. Right, let me zoom out of the camera a bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Well, I don't need to pull this. No, oh, well, that activates it. Look at that. I honestly don't even remember this. I haven't had one of these in years. What is this? It says 2000. Select. Oh, the year? Oh, we're going to select what year is it? It's 2017. Jeez. <laughs> this is insane. Okay. Uh, one more. There we go. Select. And it's... Today is May 31st. So, uh... Happy last day of May, guys. And the time, do I need to enter this, really? It's currently 1.33. Why do they do that one first? No. I gotta... 
33. Ah, oh, I see what he's gonna make me do. Okay, fine. Uh, so how's how's it going while waiting for this thing to scroll? The thing with these is that they need their own battery. Screw it. We'll say 134. Yeah, that's good. Sega Visual Memory Unit. So yeah, this is... It's really interesting. Free game. No saved files. Okay. <laughs> so it's really interesting what they tried to do with this... Um, with this VMU thing. They tried to make it different than just a regular memory card. And granted, memory cards weren't really a thing at the time. Um... So, I mean, they had different... I'm going to put this in sleep, because I don't... Yeah, I don't care about that screen. Um, yeah, so pretty much... It's interesting what this... It's a memory card, but it does more. Um, I'm going to put this up here for a second. And prop it. Uh, we just got the instruction manual. How to operate it. All this. Failure to comply with all warnings means you will die. Not really, hopefully not. Got all this. Deleting all files. I know how to do that on the console. Setting date and time, I already did that. Functions. Oh, so you can connect you can connect to Dreamcast peripherals through the VMU. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. Has a speaker on the back, battery compartment. Okay. I don't need to go through this right now in detail. But Okay, so this cap comes off. Ah, I see. It's a cap. Okay, so this can be acted as like its own separate thing, which is really weird. But I don't know if any of you guys, um, if any of you guys are like Sonic fans. Um, uh, I'm a huge Sonic fan. Um, <laughs> but pretty much in the original Sonic Adventure, in Sonic Adventure DX, if you got all the emblems, you unlocked Metal Sonic to be playable, I believe. I still get to do that. But in the original Sonic Adventure, you unlocked a separate mini game for your VMU, and it was like, you know those slider puzzles where you have to, you have like, uh, a number of squares, and they're arranged in a random order, and you have to slide them and form like a picture, it was like a chow one or something, it was, that's, that's kind of the dumbest reward I've ever heard of, but it actually would show up on the, on the LCD screen, and you have to move it around with the D-pad, which is, uh, interesting, I guess, that's kind of a stupid reward still, but I don't think you can unlock Metal Sonic in the original Sonic Adventure, but, yeah, um, hold on, give me a sec, I'm gonna get the other one. This thing looks so crappy. Like, look at this. Look at this thing. This is this is a this is also a memory card. This is just a regular memory card, though. This is a VMU, and just look at how much better this looks. It's green too. I like the green. This 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 is the one that's been corrupting my uh, save files. So, yeah, that's what it looks like, and it looks pretty bad. Uh, okay, let's put you back in this controller, and now I can show you how it works. So here's a Dreamcast control. If you've never seen one, very uncomfortable to use. <laughs> but uh, let me untangle this cord. I probably should have done this ahead of time, but you know, I don't care. Here's a Dreamcast controller. Uh, kind of uncomfortable. Um, hold it in the back like that. You've got the triggers. Analog, not digital. The D-pad's pretty bad, actually. Um, I've, I've used worse, though. The thumb, oh, the, the analog stick is, ugh. can be kind of hard to use. Start button, and of course your A, B, X, Y. Now, here's where the memory card goes. You can see there's a little hole, like a little gap right there. We're gonna take the cap off, and we're gonna put it like that. Now you have the screen through the hole in the controller, so you can actually see the screen now. Which allows you, when you, when you plug this into a console, it'll usually light up and like interact with whatever game you have in. I know Sonic Adventure has it. I remember during like cutscenes of character stories, it would show like, just pictures of characters and stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't remember most of the functionality, so this is kind of new to me in some ways. But I'll have to check it out, but no, really cool. It's green. Okay. Now, I also ordered something else for this. Um, I'm not going to do a separate unboxing on this, but I ordered what they call a jump pack. It's pretty much a rumble pack. Um, I'm assuming Nintendo copyrighted the term rumble pack. But pretty much, it allows until you have the vibration in games when... Certain events occur, you know, they cause the controller to shake. Obviously, nowadays, you have that built into your controllers, but back then, you didn't. You had to get a separate 
uh, you had to get a separate like a, a peripheral in order to make Rumble available. So that would go in here. Now I used to have what was called a Tremor pack, what I've looked online. It's like this huge bulky thing that goes in the back, but I just ordered a jump pack, which should do the same thing. It's just less bulky. Um, but yeah, I don't think you can store two VMUs in here, can you? Maybe you can. Oh, look at that, I guess you can. But normally, what at least what I would do, what when we had our original Dreamcast years ago, you would put the VMU, because we had VMUs, we'd put them in the front right here, and then you put the rumble pack or the jump pack, whatever you want to call it, in here. So you've got the memory card with the screen right here, and you've got your jump pack in there to make it rumble. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I'm really excited to actually be able to use a good memory card. Plus, it has other functionality. Not, I just I just wanted it for the memory card purpose because, like I said, my other one is, like, corrupted. And I, I can't play any games, pretty much, with it. So I really needed a new one. But, no, this is really cool. Um, I'm glad I got this. came really good condition. It only, only cost me, like, 8 or $9 on Amazon. It really wasn't that bad. I think it has a decent amount of space. I mean, I don't need a ton of space for my Dreamcast games. But, yeah, I'm really, I'm really satisfied with how this came out. Um... If the jump pack had come today, I would have unboxed that too, but I'm not going to do a separate unboxing on that. But that's pretty much it, guys. That is the visual memory unit, or VMU for short, for the Sega Dreamcast. And uh, that's kind of, this is like a blast to the past for me. Because, uh, yeah, we used to have these, put them in our controllers and access memory cards. You don't put the memory cards in the console, put them in the controllers, which is strange enough. But I'll put this right here. But that's not gonna stay up. Okay. Well, that's it, guys. That's unboxing. So thank you so much for watching. If you wanna, I don't know. I was gonna say if you wanna subscribe. Why do I have to say that? I don't even have to say that. Do what you want. Um, I'm just uploading these now because I feel like it, and they're fun. But uh, in terms of next unboxing, I don't know if I'm even gonna get a Nintendo Switch anytime soon. So don't expect that. Maybe Amiibo down the line, but I don't know what to tell you to expect at this point. I'm just trying to complete my backlog of games right now. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you again so much. And, uh, you know, if you want to pick yourself up a Dreamcast, I, I'd recommend it. It's a good console. If you're if you're a big Sega fan and you don't have a Dreamcast, I don't know what you're doing. Because <laughs> there are a lot of Sega classics on there. You've got, uh, of course, Sonic Adventure games. But those are, I mean, you can get those anywhere else now, pretty much. Uh, Jet Set Radio. Uh, I believe Space Channel 5. They ported Crazy Taxi to it. Um, Power Stone. I... Power Stone wasn't so expensive, I'd buy that. Both Power Stone games, those were great. Uh, House of the Dead, they ported that. Um, that's even more I can't even think of. Skies of Arcadia, just get the GameCube version now. There's a lot of classic uh, Sega Dreamcast games, and I, I would highly recommend it in terms of a classic Sega console. i definitely recommend it. It usually goes for like 40 or sometimes 50 online. It's not terrible. Um, and, you know, I, I think it's pretty fun. I mean, they're not the most durable consoles, but they're still they're fun to they're fun to play. They're loud. They're not the most durable, but they have some good games. So yeah, uh, pretty much the opposite of the switch. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you again, and I will hopefully see you some other time. Thank you and goodbye. Visualize it.